there. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Van and I customize dolls on this channel. If you don't know me, one thing you should definitely know about me is my two favorite things in the world is Monster High and the Addams Family. And so when they combined to make some lovely dolls, I was stoked. Doked. So I got all of them. I got the collector edition of everything. I got the regular Playline dolls. But the one thing that frustrated me the most is why does Wednesday have an Evermore outfit? But Enid just got one doll. Wednesday basically got three, but Enid got one. Justice for Enid. Justice. So, in today's video, I'm going to fix that. I am going to make her a Nevermore outfit. The other thing I am going to do is I am going to make Wednesday a new Nevermore outfit because there are certain things I just didn't feel like fit the Monster High aesthetic that they gave her. Like her, her whole physical outfit. The shoes, we're not going to talk about the shoes. The tights are great. The hair is awesome. The little thing is great. What is that coat? That coat is terrible. So we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna show you how I made their new outfits. So let's go. So to start with, I'm gonna be using these two different fabrics, which are custom dyed. Um, I did purchase them from Hobby Lobby, but I did have to dye them purple and gray to match Enid and Wednesday respectively. And I am using another pattern from DG Requiem or Rad Doll Clothes. And with some movie magic, we're going to just cut it out. And I'm going to solely be working on Enid's for this video. And then I'm going to show you what Wednesdays look like afterwards. Now, once we have it all cut out, we are going to be adding a dart onto the front parts of the blazer. This is to kind of fit with the exaggerated waistline that all Monster High Gen 1 dolls have. And after tracing it on and sewing it, this is what it ended up looking like. But we're going to set these aside and I'm going to work on the sleeves. Now the sleeves have this cute little faux cuff on it to make it look like the white shirt actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve. And that's what it looks like all ironed and everything. And so next we are going to work on the collar. The collar is stitched together in the back and then glued down around all the edges to make a finished product. And once we do have that collar all done, we're going to finish constructing the body of the coat. So the coat does have two back pieces and two front pieces, so we're going to attach those together at the shoulders. Make sure to attach it properly at the shoulders or you'll have a really awkward looking design. And then you do have to stitch the entire back together. Now once that is stitched together, we are going to add on the sleeves and the collar piece. Um, you do have to kind of fold in the collar piece so it does lay correctly. And this is kind of what it looks like after ironing and flattening it and stitching and everything. Now we're just going to stitch the side seams, add a little Nevermore emblem on them. And this is how the jacket turned out. I really love it. I think it's super cute. And now we're going to go work on the vests. For the vests, I am going to use this light purple fabric as well as this black fabric for Wednesday, and I am using the same pattern by DG Requiem, um, but I did make the collar a little more deep on the sweater to show the tie off a little more. Uh, once gluing down the edges and attaching it, pretty simple process, it was only three pieces. Um, we're going to just add a velcro in the back, and this is what they ended up turning out like. Kind of unassuming on the hanger, but super cute on the actual doll. And finally, we are going to work on the skirt. I do apologize, one of my lights died during this and I didn't realize it until afterwards. And this is what the skirt looks like after about an hour worth of pleating. I do not recommend. And once it is completed, I did add a ribbon to catch the crotch and this is what they both turned out looking like. Super cute. I think they're really adorable, very G1 Monster High, and I think it's the best skirt I've ever made. And finally, we are working on the shirt, and if you know me, you know that I will always use Dolightful's button-down steampunk shirt to make any kind of button-down. It just looks so much better. But I did steal the sleeves from DG Requiem so I could have some shorter sleeves, and this pattern is a little complicated. She actually goes really in-depth with it on her video, so I will link that down below for you. But you have to kind of flip the shirt back and forth to make sure the collar lays properly. Now that that is all attached, this is what it looks like with the collar. The collar and the shirt is the same piece, so it is seamless here. And then we're just going to attach the sleeves, add a little tie, and the shirt is done. And I think that's actually all of the outfit as well. And with that, all of their outfits are done. I really hope you enjoyed watching, and let's take a look at the final result.
this is how they turned out. I think they turned out so cute. The pleated skirts gives me definitely a G1 Monster High feel. The outfits feel more cohesive and more completed. And also they're not frumpy and sad like some other outfits that uh, we're not talking about anymore. And as I said, justice for Enid, she finally has two outfits and if you want to see more justice for her you better stick around for next video because i'm doing another thing for her which is going to be exciting well thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it like it if you love it sub it um if you are excited for the next season of wednesday go ahead drop a comment let's chat about it i'm excited well thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day bye So record time. Good soup. Good soup. Good soup. <laughs> Costco. Do -do -do. Time for school. Yee. We also have another fabric. That's totally going on. No. Good soup. And they were roommates. Mm -hmm. You saw nothing. You gotta remember them. Remember the Alamo.